and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're one of the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Is this going up on Saturday, Liz? This Saturday. Okay. Today we're going to talk about 90 second exercises to stop sciatica and piriformis syndrome. And you can do it in bed. Exercise. Did I say exercise? I thought you said exercises. Exercise. Okay. I meant to say exercise. Right, yeah. This is a very nice exercise to do. And it... Uh, it's just well, more. it's almost not even exercise because you're just lying there, right, in a position. It, it's just getting to that position, and we're going to show you how to right. do it. We'll we'll probably show you some exercises in addition to that, right? Oh, sure. There's always bonus. Yeah. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away. We're in the transition day today. If it's Saturday, yeah. yeah. Uh, it'll start tomorrow. Let's check it out what it's going to be. Sure. Uh, go to Bob and Brad on Facebook. If mm -hmm. it, uh, On Sunday, it'll be pinned to the top of the page. Right. Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. That's right. All right, 90-second exercise. It's Like you said, it's not a an exercise like traditionally you think. Right. It's a position. It's a position. Right. It's And uh, it's actually positional release is what it's called. Or Strain, counter strain is what go. it used to be called. So the piriformis muscle uh, here in the, oh, should we just, I think that's a yeah, good idea, Bob. Yeah, let's just show that. Uh, here we've got Sam is here to help us out. It's kind of our uh, oh, crude delineation here that we made a, a kind of a model here. Right. And this work, this is really that, nice. It actually does work. We, we used a little uh, loops uh, exercise Thera band. Thera band, yeah. Yep. So in the piriformis muscle is about this size and it connects to the greater trochanter, the part of the femur, and then it goes underneath and we call the anterior aspect of the sacrum exactly like this does yep, it, yep. except for on your piriformis you don't have a G and an E on there. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the sciatic nerve actually comes from the back and you can see this green banding at representing the sciatic nerve goes underneath. Now, if this muscle tightens up, it pinches that sciatic nerve, therefore getting that sciatica symptoms down the leg, possibly all the way to the foot and toes. So we now, need to relax this muscle. Yeah. Now the nerve can actually pierce through this muscle too. Um, or I've, I've had it, Brad, where this muscle was damaged. Sure. It was actually torn. Your muscle? No, it was a patient of patient. mine, and I just by the actions of how it ha occurred, mm -hmm. I'm pretty much assured that it got tore. Right. And I think it healed up, and it healed up tighter. Sure. You know what I mean? It, oh, it I scar understand. tissue. Yep, scar tissue. You had to break that so up. So we, we need to get this muscle to loosen up to see if that's going to take away your pain. Right. Now, I'm going to show this exercise. Is that okay, Bob? Yeah. Now, I've looked at some studies on this, and actually they show... About 15% of sciatica comes from piriformis. Usually it's from a disc or something else. Uh, but that's okay because this uh, series is going to show you how that transitions and very efficiently. Yeah, so basically what Brad's going to do here, if this is, if you actually have sciatica from your back, this may be good for that too. Yep, this is a win-win. So this is a win-win. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is going to be, tuck your shirt in, Brad, by the oh, way. Oh, Bob, I'm sorry. I, See, I didn't Liz realize. She's upset too. Well, she's laughing at me yeah. now. I didn't, sorry. I but didn't, so that, well, that's a, what's nice about this. We're going to kind of show you, if you have pure form of society, kind of not sure, try this and, and see if it helps. It may help in both cases. So you can do this on your bed. If it's a really soft bed, that's probably not going to work so yeah, well. If, if you're sinking in too much. Right. Then you can use a carpeted floor, and, you know, that's always fine. If you want to try your bed, that's that's fine, too. And now you're going to lay it prone or on your stomach. You'll probably want a pillow. I'm not going to use it because it's throwing my mic off. So I just bumped that out. Now, let's say it's on the left leg. So I've got that sciatica pain, numbness, tingling going down that leg. You're going to take the left leg like you're crawling, but all you're going to do is bring the leg up like this. Okay. Now you'll find that you need to give a little time and see if it feels comfortable like this. If the leg pain starts to go away, if things start to feel better, then you know you're on the right path. Now you can adjust your hips right to left a little bit. You may want to take a towel roll or a pillow. You want to grab that for yep. me, Bob? Do you, Brad, are you up on your elbows or not or not? That, that's a good, Bob, you're oh, blocking me. People can't see. Um, <laughs> that's, an, that's an option. 
Okay. I mean, if it feels better down here, stay here. If you go up like this and it clearly feels better, then do this and then take a pillow and so you can relax. Gotcha. The idea is once you find the position of maximum comfort with the pain in the leg, you may want to put something like this here. Under the knee, or yep. you can put a pillow underneath the knee. Right. So, so the exercise is 90 seconds, but it does take a little bit of time to figure out the position of maximum comfort. We're really trying to put that muscle, that piriformis muscle, on slack. Exactly. Right? And that's an optimal slack position. Perfect. So, so let's say I find it right here. Let's say, oh, I need this right about there. There you go. I'm feeling pretty good. Then you get your cell phone out or your stopwatch, and then you hit the timer, and you just completely relax. Think about your breathing, nice relaxed breathing. Take some deeper breaths, and you must stay for 90 seconds, no less. 90 to 120 seconds. They've studied this scientifically, uh, and, uh, and you know, and, uh, yeah, and generally and by getting in this position, Brad, right, the pain has already gotten better. Right. Right. Yeah. So as things continue to get better then at, after 90 seconds or a little bit longer, then you're done. If, well, let, let's go on. When you're done, then you're going to take your position, you know, you're going to towel roll. Positioning devices out of the air. If you're using air. one. And then you're going to slowly get back and to a position where you can get off the bed or off the floor if you're doing it on the floor. And take your time. Everything is done slowly, relaxed. It's not a hurry thing. And then at that point, you know, you can move around a little bit. And then we're going to recommend going for a short walk, relaxed walk on an even surface, not up and down a hill or out on the lawn where it may be an uneven surface. And then you can go on with your day. Again, win-win. This should, All these things could be good for sciatica too if you're right. coming from your back. Right. The thing is here, a lot of times when you think about it, the piriformis muscle, it gets fired up. Oh, the piriformis muscle gets fired up, and once it gets fired up, it, it kind of stays cyclical. It, it, you know, the fire up causes pain, sure. and the pain causes the fire up even more. Sure. And so you get this knot up. This knocks it out of its cycle. Right. The, the pain cycle. So you may want to, you know, let's say halfway through the day, four, you know, six, eight hours later, it's tightening up again. You're getting similar symptoms. Repeat this. Sure. And so you can repeat this a few times a day. However, Bob, I mentioned before that typically pure, sciatica is not from piriformis. It can be. Right. But let's say you you did this and you're trying to position maximum comfort and it's just not working. It's sure. Like, the leg pain's still there. It still hurts. No matter what I do, I position, I put a towel roll here, pillow there, shift around. It may be from your disc. Right. And then while you're in that position, you want to move again, yep. Bob? Thank you. Um, so you went through this and it's not working. It's like, geez, this is 92nd thing. I can't even get to that point. Well, then put the leg back down. And then what we're going to go is into a McKenzie technique. Okay. Actually, this is from two different... Uh, I, not authors, but uh, um, practitioners right. that started these sim systems. But then you're going to, you're here anyways, you might as well see if the positional re release is not working. Then get yourself in prone position and start right, some press-ups. Press As a matter of fact, I'll do those. Yeah, because my back doesn't bend that way because yeah. of my spondylolisthesis. So you're in this position, hands underneath the shoulders. And you're first going to see, does this position feel okay? Yep. I uh, want to make sure this isn't worse. Sometimes people have to start on pillows. Sure. They have to, they have to lay on pillows. I have a feeling if they can do roadkill, they probably yeah, they, will. they probably won't. But they, you never they, know. they sometimes have to start like this. Yep. And, if, and just sometimes you just lay like this for a while, and then eventually you take the pillow out, yep. and, it's, and it still feels okay. All right, let's say we get to this point, put the hands under, and you're going to do what we call micro press-ups, and you're going to see how the back responds to that. If it's taking pain out of the leg and it's traveling and staying up here in the buttock in the back, that's a good sign. Right. We don't want the leg pain to get worse. That's a bad sign. But you do the micro press-ups, you're not lifting the pelvis off the floor like this. Right. You're, you're using the arms and you're bending the back. There's a slight arch to the back. Eventually, over time, you want to work it to the point where you get more arch. And, and when he still says, still keeping the pelvis on the floor, it's not lifting up like this. Right. When he says over time, that might be by the time you get to your 10th press up, 
it might be coming better or it might be a matter of if you do three sets of these in a day or the next day it starts to get better it might be days or weeks i mean it, it might take you a long time to get up to this point right I, i'm always more optimistic than we <laughs> <So. laughs> but it might so but one way or another if yeah. it makes it worse you stop yeah and eventually the high deal thing is you get the higher and the higher you get up a lot of times the more the pain starts to go into the back itself and eventually it goes away. Right. So these, these press-ups can be really quite amazing if right. they work uh, right. There's other advanced techniques that we've done for those too, but we don't want to cover all those today, do we? Right. For example, uh, if you tried these in the, the piriformis, the 90-second uh, um, positional re release doesn't work, this is not working, then you're going to have to go to Bob and Brad Go to the sciatic. Um, you can put advanced sciatic exercises. Right. And then I you'll know. pull up some of those videos. And we have other options you can try. Yep. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Remember, Brad and I can fix just about oh, anything. Except for a broken heart. There you go. It's right. Working on it. Here. Okay. There.